guys, welcome to the ultimate 3D printer filament strength test showdown challenge. Uh, today I'm going to be testing some uh, PLA, some GT PLA, some PLA Plus, and uh, some PETG. And I'm going to be comparing all these different filaments by printing out uh, one of these. Uh, this is the bag hanger, very popular item on Thingiverse. You hold it like this. Uh, you hang your, you hold it like this, you hang your grocery bags on here, uh, and you can carry three grocery bags at a time. So this is going to be a real world test, and uh, we're going to see uh, how all these different filaments perform in the real world. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this ordinary luggage scale, and I'm going to hang it from the bag hanger, and I'm going to be putting cans of food in the grocery bag, uh, and I'm going to keep filling it up until it breaks and we're going to see how much weight it holds. Uh, I've printed all of these with no uh, infill and no support. Uh, so they're not as strong as they could be if they had infill, of course, but uh, I didn't want to be too strong and be here all day, so I wanted them to break. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First up is, this is regular PLA. This is uh, Hatchbox PLA from Amazon. Yeah, in retrospect, green was not the best color choice. And this one, I'm assuming will break pretty easy because it's just regular PLA, no infill. Uh, so I'm gonna get my rig set up here and I'm gonna start adding weight to it. So here's one can of corn and a can of beans. It's getting heavy. I'm gonna sit that down for just a minute. All right, as you can see, I've built a rig here with a uh, two by four on a step ladder to hold my bag hanger, so I don't have to hold it the whole time. Uh, and then you'll have the uh, scale here and bags down below. Okay, I've got a new rig here. I put a 2x4 with some weight on top of it directly on top of my desk. Alright, safety first. Put on my goggles. Okay, so it turns out that even without infill, PLA is way stronger than people give it credit for. Um, even without the enhanced PLAs, these bag hangers are holding so much more weight than I thought they would. Uh, you know, I thought just throwing some uh, cans in a grocery bag would be enough to break it. Okay, so I've got 40 pounds hanging on this scale. <laughs> Five pounds. Ooh, ooh. There it goes. That's uh, fifty seven and a half pounds. All right, this is uh, GTPLA. And I'm going to start out with 40 pounds. Uh, I just had to epoxy my uh, uh, luggage scale back together because I broke it on the last one. But I think it's back in working order now. So, 10 pounds. Okay, I think the luggage scale is broken. I broke my motherfucking luggage scale before I broke the PLA. All right. 
right, that was uh, 13 cans. Uh, and broke off in the same spot. All right, guys, so far today we've tested some uh, regular old Hatchbox PLA, uh, which was a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Uh, and then we moved on to the GT PLA, which was even stronger. Uh, so this test is taking uh, longer than I had initially planned. Uh, we're going to wrap up for today, uh, but stay tuned for the exciting conclusion, part two of the ultimate filament strength test throwdown challenge. <laughs>